Hey there, it's Mike from DestinyGuitar.com and we're going to be talking about the C chord and showing you in this lesson how to play a C major chord. The C chord is a five string chord and that means that you'll be playing five of the guitar strings in order to play. You don't play all six strings. If you were to play all six strings with this fingering of a C chord then it would be a different chord. Very closely related to the C really just an inversion of the C, but the C major chord in its first position is a five string chord. So you only play these five strings in order for the chord to sound properly. Now to play this C chord, you'll be needing three of your fingers to fret the notes, and uh, it works just like this. On the fifth string on the third fret, you'll place your third finger. And then on the fourth string, on the second fret, you'll place your second finger. You're going to skip right over this note right here. This is going to be one of the open strings that forms the chord. And then on the second string, on the first fret, you place your first finger. So I'm going to move these other fingers out of the way so you can see that. Here's my first finger. And there's the C chord. My pinky is kind of tucked away here. If it looks like I'm, I'm playing a note with my pinky, I'm just, I'm not. I'm just, I'm kind of holding it out there or I'm, I'm tucking it away so it's out of the way. Now, one thing to note, uh, especially when you're learning these, uh, these beginner guitar chords, is that you want to make sure that you are coming around the top of the neck and placing your finger down on the fretboard so it's the, it's the tip of your finger that is fretting the string. If you find yourself holding your hand at an angle, you know, like tucking your elbow in and your hand is this way, or you're swinging wide and, uh, and you're bringing the fleshy part of your finger too much around onto the other strings, you'll find that some of the strings will be muted when you play them. Uh, the way that would work, or the way I remember this happening for me when I was learning the C chord, is that uh, that I would find I kind of get lazy with this finger and I would I would lay it down just a little bit and this top string would not ring. So one of the things that you'll want to do is make sure that you are coming around and fretting directly onto so I on to the fretboard so I can play both these strings. All right. So the C chord again. And one of the ways to make sure that you've got proper hand position is to place your thumb on the back of the neck and in a way what that does is it forces your hand to kind of come around like this. You don't need to cock your wrist too much. It shouldn't be terribly uncomfortable. You know, the guitar is a very ergonomic instrument. Uh, you know, you can form a lot of chords in, in essentially comfortable positions. What you may be struggling with initially is uh, your finger strength and muscle memory. So those are the two things that will develop over time but it should be, should be fairly comfortable to play the C chord. Now the C, just to talk about theory for a moment here, the C chord is made up of three notes and, and, and in order to get a major chord you only need three tones and those notes are the C, the E, and the G. And so if you only need three notes in order to play a major chord then uh, then you might wonder, well, if we've got five strings here, then what are we playing? And the answer is we're actually doubling a couple of the notes. And, uh, and so I'll, I'll tell you which ones those are, actually. It, right down here, we're starting off with a C. And then by playing this note here, we have an E. And then this open string that we're playing is a G. And then we have ourselves uh, another C by playing this note right here. And then this open string up here is an E. And so we have C, E, G, C, E. So what we've done is we've actually played our, our C triad or, or the C major chord with these first three strings. And then we have a doubling of the chord. And you may ask, well, could I just play a C chord with only these three strings? Of course you could. You could do that if you wanted to, but you know when you're strumming the, the instrument and also just to, for a pleasing sound, 
uh, yeah, you'll definitely want to play all five of the notes. Now, when you're strumming the guitar, uh, you may wonder, well, how is it that I can avoid playing this sixth string? You know, if I'm strumming right over the top of all six strings, how do I avoid that? Well, one easy way to do that is once you're comfortable playing this C chord, is to take this thumb, if your hand's large enough, is to take this thumb and wrap it around and just kind of lay it right there so that it's barely touching this string. All you need to do is just touch it barely. And what that'll do is it'll dampen it. And you won't hear a sound. So if I were to strum over the top of it, I would get my C chord and this string would not ring out. Now my other option is to only strum those five strings, so when I come down on it, to only strum those five, but I just find it's nice to have that, uh, I don't know, insurance policy, so, sort of a safety net, if you will, so that I don't ring out that bottom note. Again, though, you know, if you're, you're, you're having difficulty enough with this, then, uh, then wrapping your thumb seems a little bit too complex. It's not required, it's just something that I do in order to make sure that if I'm strumming real big, that I'm not striking over uh, that lower uh, that lower note if I don't want to. Now you might ask, what is the chord if I were to play all six strings and have this bottom note ring out? Because it doesn't sound bad, and it also sounds very close to a C chord. And in fact, it is. It's it's just an inversion of the C chord. It's like imagine if you will, uh, we've taken the C chord and we've kind of flipped it around. And, uh, and this inversion of the C chord has an E on the bottom. It's actually a separate chord altogether. We call it a C over E. And you might see it written as C slash E. And so only if you want an E in the bass note uh, would you play this chord. But typically when we're playing a C major, we don't want that. And it's not going to sound exactly right, especially if you're playing with other musicians or you're playing uh, with a vocalist who has a certain melody line. You may not want your chord rooted in E. So there you go, that's the C chord. I encourage you to practice. I also encourage you to check out one-on-one -on -one guitar lessons. Nothing beats getting one-on-one -on -one instruction. So in the meantime, check out all of our other lessons on destinyguitar.com.